Thank you. Why do you believe this vicious attack happened this weekend? And describe the mission now. So, yesterday at 6.30 in the morning, Hamas launched a huge, huge attack on Israel, which included thousands of rockets and raiding 22 Israeli towns along the Gazan border, massacring children and women and kidnapping civilians and killing soldiers. The event is a full-scale war for Israel. The last time Israel was in a state of war was in the Yom Kippur War. Mm -hmm. And the amount of dead and wounded in this one day is similar to the six-day war. This is how big this event is. Now, Israel now is doing four things before it goes on a massive a counter a attack. Mm -hmm. One is going from house to house in all the towns, making sure there are no terrorists left, making sure that the land of Israel is completely clean from Hamas militants uh, inside Israel. This is not over yet. The IDF and the police are still working, uh, but I believe that in the next coming hours, maybe tomorrow morning, we'll be able to say Israel is in full control of all Israeli territory. The other issue is also uh, strengthening our position in the north towards Hezbollah mm -hmm. and also in Judean Samaria in the West Bank. And uh, it, at the moment, the IDF is mobilizing hundreds of thousands of reservists that are going to the different locations. Several divisions are on their way to Gaza and are preparing for a massive attack uh, into Hamas uh, stronghold uh, inside Gaza. Now, we have to understand, Hamas is an Iranian proxy, mm -hmm. funded by Iran, guided by Iran. And this attack is an attempt not only to hurt Israel, but also crucial American interests. We are on the verge of building an alliance, the Western-Israeli-Sunni alliance, by normalizing relations with Saudi Arabia and the whole Sunni world. This will enable to pose a credible military threat on Iran to stop the Russian-Iranian aggression in Europe and in the Middle East and in Africa. And Iran understands that. This is why they want to completely change the situation and attack Israel. And this is why we see uh, the president uh, of USA standing so strong with Israel and understanding that both countries' basic, basic interests are in danger. So this is what we are seeing now. I believe it will take a few days for Israel to get full readiness to launch an attack. And uh, this is a, an ongoing process now. General, do you worry about more civilians being killed because Hamas is using them as human shields? Definitely. Unfortunately, Hamas kidnapped uh, Israeli uh, civilians and soldiers. I think it's Hamas' interest to keep them safe uh, at the moment. But Israel is putting this issue aside. We'll deal with it later. We are dealing now with destroying Hamas capabilities and leadership. And this is a, a long-term operation. It's not going to be a short operation. It's not just going to be Air Force attacks. We'll have to maneuver, maneuver massively inside Gaza to destroy these uh, capabilities. And definitely, uh, this is going to be uh, complicated and will take time. We are calling uh, the Palestinian society to move out of areas where we are going in so they can keep safe. Okay. And uh, we'll see in the next coming days how this evolves. We know the United States is moving military resources into the region as a show of support. What more do you need from President Biden and the American government right now? I want to thank you, uh, President Biden uh, and uh, the whole administration and the Congress and Senate for standing with Israel, for assisting us with everything we need. I think I have one big request, and this is standing strong against the one entity that is basically destabilizing the whole region, and this is Iran. We must stop Iran from becoming nuclear. 
we must pose a credible military threat against Iranian buildup of nuclear capabilities. And this, by the way, will not only impact Iran, this will also deter Russia, China, and will help building back U.S. leadership globally. General Amir Avivi, grateful for your time today, sir. Our condolences to the Israeli people. Thank you very much. Israel is strong. The society is strong. The army is strong and will prevail and win this war. Thank you, sir.